If you've watched my videos before, maybe it's because of the music or the glitchy VJing. Perhaps you saw my Joe Meek video, or the video I did about algorithms finding out where your samples have come from. Maybe you've never heard of me before, but whatever, I do have a real life too. And for the last 10 years, I've had to go past work and see this thing on the train. For years, I never knew what it was, and now I do, it's too late. But if you want to know what it is, why it's this shape, and why it's so important to the Tokyo music scene, please watch the rest of this video. This wonderful building is called the Nakano Sun Plaza, which is in Tokyo, short distance from Shinjuku. When it was first built, the locals called it the Tokyo Pyramid, and it's quite easy to see why. Although to me, it looks like Jackie Chan sliding down that building in Who Am I? Who's going to jump into a waiting Bond book? that's going to take him to see Deep Thought, the computer thing, from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is not quite as catchy. The building itself was primarily a hotel, 92 metres high, and it must have turned a few heads when it was built in 1973. But just like life, What's good about this building is not what's at the top, but what's at the bottom. And at the bottom was a concert hall. It could hold 2,222 people and it's one of the most important places in Tokyo's history. The Sun Plaza became very famous and a lot of touring acts of the 1970s, 80s and 90s came there to play, especially international bands. And if you don't trust ChatGPT, just try typing in Nakano Sunplex into YouTube and see what you get. Which is louds and 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 louds. Okay, I'm Debbie. Singer. Hi, Debbie Sam. Hi, Debbie Sam. With so many famous bands having played here, it might just be quicker to beam them into your mind. Louis, Rory Gallagher, Johnny Depp, Susie Potter, Felicia Ellen Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Judas Priest, Sephora, Jimmy Cleary, Wes Anderson, Weather Lux, Apple Gun, Sarah Sutherland, Jason Hyde, Alfred Gregson, Robert Bennett, Ben Sandler, Bon Jovi, Michelle Rodriguez, Lady Gaga, Faith Evans, Michael Jackson, 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 Michael
and we haven't mentioned any of the Japanese bands yet. This is how famous the Nakano Sunplatzer is. There's even a singer in a band turned YouTuber who's named after the blinking thing. And this is he, Sunplatzer Nakano Kun, lead singer of Bakufu Slump. Don't know why I did it in that voice. Um, here he is on his YouTube channel as well. And this is him giving a speech for the 50th anniversary of the Sunplatzer. And look who he's standing next to. That's the mayor of Nekano, don't you know? Despite all these bands playing, the Sun Plaza wasn't designed for rock and roll. It was actually a sort of multi-use cultural centre that was designed to bring people together. At the time the building was being conceived, Tokyo was going through a huge change and lots of people were moving from the countryside to the big cities for work. These people needed help, not just with like local government things, but maybe finding new friends as well. So the idea was to build all of these things in one building. You know, things like a gym or a swimming pool, a tennis court, there was even a local museum. And if you got through all of that and you were still on a date, you could even get married there too. So, I uh, guess you're wondering what all the fuss is about. And uh, by the way, it's not only me, it's quite a lot of other people taking pictures of this. What the fuck's going on? First thing, this building is massive and uh, you just can't miss it. It's so iconic. It's not just me missing it. Check out this guy. Kachii! As you can see, the Nakano Sunplatzer was built in slices, as this demonstrates. Good that, isn't it? The sun always shines at the Sunplatzer. It's sun o'clock until it gets demolished, which is like very soon. And uh, don't know if you speak Japanese very well, but that sort of sound like, yeah, yeah, f off, mate. Yeah, yeah. do I am. Oh, f***ing triangle. Strike! Yeah, I used to go bowling here quite a lot. And uh, on the way to the bowling, you could also see the swimming pool. Not that I ever looked at the children in the pool. Uh, there's also a flower shop there. It's very good. Uh, now, yeah, I filmed the back of the uh, Sun Plaza because maybe you didn't believe that it looked like deep thought, but it really does. Mmm. Yeah? 42. Yeah? Which coincidentally is my age in the past. Forget the building's rock history. Forget what it's done for the local community. Just look at it. It's gorgeous. R.I.P. Sunplatzer. One of the principal architects, Shoji Hayashi, made the building this shape so everyone would feel that they were part of something. I, I, yeah, I think that's kind of cool, actually. And everybody knows there ain't nothing as inclusive as a pyramid. Am I right? We don't have buildings like this being built anymore with these kind of ideas. It's quite sad, why should these ideas belong to a bygone age? 
all of the luxury flats that were being built in London over the last 20 years. They have the same facilities, but they're more about keeping people out rather than helping people fit in. For me, is I never went to a gig at the Sun Plaza. Now it's too late. Uh, I came to Japan in 2011, and by then, most rock bands had stopped doing shows there, and the only sort of shows you'd see were maybe idol groups. That's not really for me. Um, I've seen Napalm Death, Atari Teenage Riot many times. Melt banana. I'm so hardcore I've cut my head open watching bear suit during a flute solo. But these Japanese idols groups are way too hardcore for me. Way too hardcore for me. But that said, I have been in the building many times. Uh, music practice room, swimming pool. Um, at first, I, d I had no idea of the history of the building, which I think is kind of sad and one of the reasons I'm making the video. Well, what do I think? I'm always a bit scared to say what I think because I've got a sort of a bit of an aversion to when a white guy comes and says, oh, I know everything about Japan and, you know, me. An expert in ancient wisdom. For what it's worth, I ain't gonna live forever, you know, so why should buildings? On the other hand, it's a shame because it's such an iconic building. When I was there filming it today, there was like a Pakistani family having their picture taken with it, you know. And uh, when I went before, there were lots of Japanese people taking pictures, which tells me that they might miss it too. But it has some sort of importance. There is a new one being built, but it won't be the same, I don't think. While I think uh, photos, at least, of the new development don't look that exciting, it's good to see they're going to build some sort of live space in it. Although, I think it's too big. Um, rock music. I think it peaks about 2,000, 3,000 people and any bigger than that, uh, the music sort of gets lost uh, in the space, you know, and the bands go all weird because they start thinking about the experience and not really about the music anymore. In a strange sort of way, what's going on here reminds me of what's going on here. This is the K Arena in Yokohama. It's built and just opened this year. And uh, it holds 20,000 people in exclusive sort of splendor and comfort on three tiers. It's massive. 
and it's great if you want to see a Def Leppard and Motley Crue in a VIP room and have champagne and then walk around the harbour. I don't know what happens if you want to see the Ramones or uh, Nirvana and you're 18 or something. But enough about me. The only thing left to do is to ask the building what it thinks. Hey, Sun Plaza, do you think the new building's going to be any good? I don't think you're going to like it. <laughs>